Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with a tool tip for what feels like a somewhat esoteric tool. It took me a while to discover how useful, crazy useful it actually is, uh, and also a recommendation of where you can obtain a truly magnificent one. Um, the tool I'm gonna describe is called an angle finder. Now, the most common angle we use in any shop is a 90 degree angle, a perpendicular angle, and you should have a selection of squares, big and small, if you are a maker of things, to make these 90 degree markings. And there are tons and tons and tons of different uh, angle finding squares and rulers. There's, uh, there's combination squares like this. There are speed squares for building houses and these beautiful old craftsman squares, which you can pick up for a song uh, at antiques malls and thrift stores and eBay and even Etsy sometimes. But what if you have an angle uh, that you don't know what it is, but you want to match it? So let's just say that this staking block I've got, which is hexagonal, let's say I don't know what that angle is, but I... I want to transfer that angle to something else. Well, that's where an angle finder comes in. This is an angle finder. It is a simple piece of plastic or wood as the base and a fin of steel as its business end. And what you do, it's got this slot so you can move it around and it allows you to basically bring something that's got an angle on it that you wanna match up to the tool like that. And you tighten the tool. Now, you have that angle. Now you can transfer that angle if you want to something else. And in carpentry, this is a completely critical tool to have. It is also a relatively inexpensive tool. This is probably well under $20, if not half of that. Uh, and we'll include some links uh, in the comments below for where you can purchase these and everybody who is a maker of any stripe should have one of these in their shop. I just go out and get one and add it to your kit if you don't have it. For those of you who might be more discerning, you don't have to go to a brand new store to buy a new angle finder because, well, hell's bells, Margaret, some of them might be a hundred years old and still completely functional. And that's where Angulus comes in. This is one of my favorite antique tools. I just love this. This is a cast steel uh, angle finder and it's called the Angulus. Angulus! I, every, every time I pick it up, I, it's kind of required that I say Angulus. I literally have been doing that for 20 plus years. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful piece of engineering, right? This one, instead of having a tightening nut up here, has a tightening nut back here that allows the fin to be manipulated and then secured into position. And once it's rigid, it's very bloody rigid. And I paid about as much for this as I did for this. I paid as much for this beautiful piece of work as I did for this cheap stamped injection molded thing. Now, I recommend that everyone immediately go out and buy one of these. If you don't have one of these in your shop, you should. It will save your ass someday. Meanwhile, why don't you go looking for a much more beautiful version of it because these are not that expensive. Yeah, I'm a big recommender of buying antique versions of great tools. These squares, these craftsman squares, again, not super expensive. And honestly, a good tool that you wanna use is a tool that you're gonna use and that makes it have more utility in the shop. That was a quick and dirty tool tip. Thank you guys for joining me for this. I hope that it was instructive. And if you've got a tool that you know about that not many people other do, I'd love to hear about it. See you next time.